set needs a clown. We gotta put a clown on the set. The clown with the dirty shoes. I like you, clown. I like you. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, hi. Say hi to the meat patty. The meat patty wants to say hello to you. Oh, I taste like soybean. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. It actually smells like pumpkin spice because it's Salon Fest 2023, starring me, PJ Bozak, the deliverer of RKOs inside the Juggalo JCW wrestling ring, setting blazing fire upon the fans while the process just engulfs the entire planet into a singularity, collapsing, creating another multiverse, but nothing of Bozak's Bozak's. So, wait, I, I keep hearing something. I've been hearing it outside the bushes. I've been hearing it by my windows. I was outside, outside scratching my nutsack, and I heard something growling in the bushes. It could be a wolf. Maybe it's a timber wolf. Maybe it's a pelican. No, wait, pelicans don't fucking growl, do they? But whatever it is, whatever that sound is I'm hearing, it's out by my trash can now. I hope it's not a... Mm. Werewolf or a wolf man. <laughs> we love werewolves in the Bozak Nation and the Juggalo community. And we're going to go way back, way back in time in 1941 when we had Universal Studios releasing the wolf man. That's right, the wolf man. Let me get some notes because I'm old. I'm, I'm pushing my 60s here. All right. Came out in 1941, directed by George Wagner, and written by Kurt Sidiomac. Sidiomac. Sid, Sid, seaweed. Cryovac. Okay, so The Wolfman. You gotta understand, this is like the second werewolf movie that was ever made in cinema. Alright, I think the first one was Werewolf in London, and uh, that one didn't do so good, even though it got remade a couple times, and people love it, and uh, Warren Zevon made a kick-ass stoner song about it. But uh, what's starring Lon Chaney Jr. And if I could, if I, if I, was, if I was on this guy's dick any harder, I'd be a fucking condom. I love Lon Chaney Jr. that much. But he's dead. He's long dead. Don't worry. I'm not gonna go touch his privates. I'm not gonna dig him up. I'm not gonna do anything like that. I know some of you probably think I should, but I ain't gonna do it. Cause if I do that, I get in trouble. And I won't be able to have Salmon Fest. And I'm, you know, I, you know, I got these steel chains around me. I got this Wiccan. Candle, I'm gonna, it, it'll, it, the, the sexy witch babe said it would protect me during Sound Fest from anything that would want to harm me, including wolf men. So back to the wolf man, 1941, folks. Not only is Long Chaney in it, then by the way, let me, let me also state, this guy was in the Mummy movies. This guy played the son of Dracula. This guy was also Frankenstein's fucking monster. This guy did it all. And I gotta say, he's one of my favorite actors of all time. And I respect the hell out of his career. And uh, it's also starring another guy I, I feel the same way about. Bela Lugosi, yeah. Bela or Isabella. Bela, 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 Bela Lugosi. And uh, originally he tried to be, he wanted to be the Wolfman in this movie. He tried out to be that part, but it didn't happen. They put him as the gypsy fortune teller, who's also named Bella. That must have been easy to remember. Hey, where's the Bella, 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 Bella? So we got that. We got Claude Rains. Now Claude Rains last year I did a movie with I did a movie review with Josh Kenner of the Invisible Man. And Claude Rains was the Invisible Man in that movie. And he did a great, 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 great job. And he is the father figure of Larry Talbot, who is played by Lon Chaney Jr. And he yep, yep. Some good chemistry there. It's good to see those guys share the screen. And Evelyn Anchors plays Gwen, which is the love interest in this movie. Now before we get into this bullshit right here, let me tell you. Jack Pierce was an originator of makeup artist for movie studios back then. Uh, Universal Studios went all out. They, they, they had this giant freaking lot just filled up with smog. It's a very smoggy, foggy movie. If you watch this, you're going to be like, this is like the fog, man. I mean, there's a werewolf in it, but it's got a lot of fog in it. And there is a lot of fog in this movie, but they filled that whole lot up with just fog. And it's got some really cool night foggy shots, and I love it. But Jack Pierce was there on the set with the putting Lon Chaney through hell, doing all this crazy stuff with the. He, they were using yak hair and pasting it to his face to give him the look of the Wolfman Beast look, you know. And it was just. If you, I'll show you the quick, quick, quick little clip here in a second. And uh, me and the little meat patty, me and the little meat patty, we're gonna watch a little clip later. You're gonna like it. 
Oh yeah, I like that too after we some of these Sour Patch Kids. Alright, uh, right, hold on guys, I gotta finish this review before we have candy time. Come on, I mean, we, we, we gotta have this before pleasure. <laughs> so, so, again, I gotta be real serious here. We're also gonna talk about, um, there was a bear incident in this movie when they filmed it. They had a trained bear on set. And it got loose. <laughs> and it chased um, Evelyn Peters up a ladder and she got hurt. That really fucking happened. So that's some crazy stuff that happened on it. And, um, you know, the yak hair, four-hour makeup jobs and live bears. I mean, it's just, that's a hell of a way to... But what's the, what happens in this movie, PJ Prozac, uh, BJ's scum tash? But I'm going to tell you, it's this guy, you know, Larry Talbot. He's trying to get back in the uh, good grace with his dad, uh, John Talbot, played by um, the epic Claude Rains, who was also, you know, a motherfucking invisible man. But other than that, let's um, move on with this because I got to get off the fact that there's these... I mean, it's a movie with Lon Chaney, Bela Lugosi, and Claude Rains. That's, that, that there in itself is, is, well, worth it alone, in my opinion. But so he goes back, he goes to the shop, meets this cute girl named Jen and he's flirting with her. He's trying to get her to go out with him. You know, he's really, he really likes her, you know, and I think she kind of likes him back, but, she, but she sells him this silver, this silver wolf cane and tells him the story of, of the werewolf and how a man, even if he prays every night and he's religious and has God in his heart, even he, if he has, if he's marked by the beast of the, of the werewolf, he will still turn at certain times of the year at night. And he will feed upon the innocent flesh. And he'll like it. It'll taste like a good burger, dude. <laughs> anyway, dude. So so anyway, they're in the woods. They go to the fortune teller. And uh, they want, he wants to see uh, his fortune, you know. And the fortune teller is played by Bella Lugosi. And Bella Lugosi is the current werewolf, okay. he's So if you're a werewolf, I get it. If you, if you, you the next victim... Your next victim, if you see a pentagram form on someone's palm, that means you're going to turn to a werewolf sometime soon, and you're going to be killing that person, whether you want to or not. So, Bela Lugosi's in that predicament. He's a fortune teller. He sees a pentagram on, on um, Evelyn's friend. <sighs> Tells her to get the fuck out of there. He knows what's going to happen, so you know what's going to happen. Boom. Big werewolf attack in the woods. And Larry Talbot sees what's going on. He uses the silver chain. Now, remember, silver... Of any kind can kill a werewolf. A bullet, a cane, a knife, a blade, even a boot cell. <laughs> so he goes and he kills the uh, kills the wolf that's attacking Evelyn's friend. The wolf bites him in the chest. They take him away, check on him. They go back to find the body of the wolf. They find a man who's been killed. So they think Larry Calvert's a killer now, right? So then the next thing you know, this guy's turning into a werewolf at night. Yeah. And um, things get because he ends up falling in love with Gwen, and yeah, you're right. He ends up seeing the pentagram form on her palm, so you know what's going to happen there. Won't spoil the very ending, but if you haven't seen the Wolf Man yet, and you're a horror nerd, you should know what the ending is. But that's a it's a really good. So here we go. Here's a little clip from um, the Wolf Man in 1941. Ow! Oh, oh long chini, oh, oh. long day. Hanging with gypsies, ha <laughs> ha. Bill Logosi bite him in chest, ha ha ha. Oh, look at that. What is that? You need to shave, motherfucker. Mother Taco. Of course, this is a great movie, 1941. Oh, shit. Imagine what his pubes look like right now. I mean, don't imagine that. But if you do imagine that, He's probably got a big ass ball fro going right now. Oh, look at that. 1941, folks. That's uh, it's the best they could do. Hey, look at that. Always cool to see these transformations. Of course, this would inspire so many other damn werewolf movies. Oh, golly. Look like a, a Gomer pile there staring. He just got done hitting that bowl. It's high as fuck right now. <laughs> ah, I rate this movie three out of five dog dicks. <laughs>